Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video, I am going to explain you how I traded Bank Nifty and how I handled this 400 point gap down today. Now yesterday I had sold 40,000 call option and 38,000 put option at around 130 rupees, right? Now let me explain you how the trade went. So yesterday only uh, as the Bank Nifty was sideways, it gave me a profit of 30 rupees from each side, right? Now both of the options were closed at around 100 rupees, uh, sorry, one option closed at around 85 rupees and other option closed at around 115 rupees. Now net net I had 60 points profit in that in, in both of the options. Now today as Bank Nifty opened gap down, okay, Bank Nifty opened gap down today around 400 points. So in that case, my call option that uh, was trading at 85 opened directly at 45 and but the put option that was trading at 115 rupees directly opened at 200 rupees right so now in that case i faced around 60 points loss so that is how uh, i was able to manage to get out cost to cost in that case but now to manage the delta because now the option was uh, 45 and 200 so what what i had to do i had to manage the delta of 200 now that is why i looked for an option that was trading around 200 rupees uh, in in the call side so regarding that then i found 39300 300 call option that was trading at around 180 rupees and this was trading at around 200 rupees so this is how i manage the delta and see as a role of a strangle seller your only aim is to make the market move between your two points now in that case the market opened at around 38500 or 38600 rupees right now that is why i had 600 rupees uh, on the downside that is 38,000 PE and that, to manage that I had to sell around 600 to 700 points upper C. So that was 39,300 C where the uh, options price almost matched. Now as a main aim of a strangle seller is your market should be between these points then only you can have the uh, profitability in terms of theta decay. So this is how uh, these are my positions as of now one second. These are my positions. See, I had sold at around 180 rupees and I had bought this at around 53 rupees, which is still trading at 49. But this has decayed from that point because the market is still in this range. So talking about that, you can see here where I have drawn the range. And if the market breaks on the any side of this, then I may think of adjusting the trade even more. Let me shift this to the lower point around this area that is around 38,500. Now looking at the open interest data, we can see that on 39,000 call option, there is a huge uh, call writing and the puts are where yesterday the puts were written. Now they are starting to unwind. So this is one thing where I can define a range of 39,000 on the upper side. But while looking at 38,500 call option and put option data, we can see that 38,000 has around double the uh, 38,000 put, uh, put option has double the amount of call option. So simply we can see that the range of, of today or the range as of now is 38,500 to 39,000. And if the market breaks on the any side, then uh, there is a problem because then this put writers, those who are written a put here, they will go and unwind this puts or if the market breaks on the 39,000 side, then these call writers will go and unwind these calls. So looking at the chart, that is how I have defined this uh, small region from that bigger region. And I can hold that. I will hold this until and unless the either side breaks on the, uh, yeah, on the chart. So looking at this chart, we can see that the, uh, around the law profit was around 2000 rupees as of in the previous session of the video now in this chart uh, in this uh, we can see that the profit has decreased due to the continuous fall we only want as a strangle seller we only want that the price should move in a zigzag manner in this defined range and uh, until and unless that happens we are only uh, we are make, going to make profit but if any side breaks or if there is a swift movement on any side then that is a problem for a strangle seller or a option seller uh, uh, be it any direction right now that is all for today and i hope you learned something new and yeah thank you now as we can see that 
uh, Bank Nifty has broken this support area and it was today's low also. So this is one of the most important points that you should keep in mind. If uh, uh, any instrument or Nifty Bank Nifty breaks yeah, high or low, then that is one of the most uh, triggering points, right? So in that case, you should definitely uh, wind up your position uh, or take a reverse position or whatever. Like in this case, I have sold my put option. I have cut short my put option in this case and only have a naked call option. Now that is how I will play out and keep a stop loss of around 30 to 40 points in this and play the directional move as of now because because the important level of 38,500 is broken and also it was today's low. So that is how I'm uh, changing the strategy as of now. And if there is any update or if there is any change in this, then I will let you know. See how as soon as the level was broken of 38,500, how there was significant uh, put unwinding and there was significant rise in call, right? Now, this is how you can simply analyze the data, whether you should stay on a short side or stay on a long side. In, the, in this case, as the level was broken, as an important level was broken, there was significant drop in. Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely not that great, but from the previous levels from 10 to 10, 15, we can see that around 1 lakh or 17 lakh contracts were present on at 10 a.m. But currently there are only 14 lakh. So 3 lakh contracts have been wiped out now. And similarly, if we look at the call option data, then we can see that around 71,000, uh, around 71,000 call writing was there at 10 a.m. And now it is around at around 1 lakh. So definitely this is how you can analyze the data and currently I am on the short side only with naked call option that is risky I know but it is only one lot so I, I know I can handle that kind of risk definitely with bigger lots you can cannot trade like that because it could be a very disastrous thing in term, in case of extreme moves okay now let me update afterwards. Now the conditions have changed as of now. Uh, I see there is a pure consolidation in this area. As you can see that this was a strong support and this has now become a resistance in terms of chart. Uh, in terms of OI data, we can see that 39,000 is a resistance and 38,500 is a support. So looking at the OI data, we see that uh, the call writer and the put writer. So uh, in, in terms of simple language, the call sellers and put sellers are both equally strong and they do not want to give up this position. So in that case, I think that we may consolidate here for some period of time before a further move as we have witnessed quite trending moves from the past few days and a halt was definitely necessary for a further move in either direction. So I don't know what direction uh, we may go, but definitely the OI data will change accordingly that and uh, we had seen how the OI data was changing. So significant change in OI data can be seen here as well where the call writers and put writers are equally building up uh, at the beginning at the day uh, we see that around put writers were double the call writers so th that was a quite bullish position but now there has been significant call writing and almost we have a s equal positions in this area so for that reason I have sold around uh, what I have sold one second in this chart we can see i have sold thirteen seven thousand five hundred pe right so i have sold 38 uh, 37500 pe that is around uh, around 1000 point below so some people may think that uh, why i am trading with only one lot and uh, yeah it does not matter to much of much of uh, many of the people right now but definitely don't think like that because as a beginner you should only trade with one lot and not go with directly with 10 lots even if you have a capital even i can trade with more than 10 lots also as of now but as a beginner i wouldn't uh, suggest or i wouldn't risk my capital just in case of learning because if i am able to make profits in one lot consistently then definitely i can scale that uh, quantity in the coming future so this amount of 750 rupees, 1000 rupees is in, in terms of uh, points of bank nifty and not in terms of money. So don't think 750 is a small amount. Think if you are having three lots, then uh, into 30 rupees. So that is the profit that you can make in the future. 
now let me update you yesterday i had a profit of around 3000 rupees which i carried uh, today and directly it opened at 1500 rupees so i had uh, already um, around half loss of that profit so currently if you see that my profit is at around 1000 rupees so i have already booked a 2000 rupees loss but that was just a m to m which i had a profit right so i haven't booked any loss on my capital till now so let us hope that i don't book profit uh, loss sorry and uh, if my loss today goes below 1500 rupees for example uh, currently my m to m is 1000 right so if it goes below 500 then i will close all the positions because it has been enough for today and yeah thank you and i'll update about this in the next video thank you